My name is Randy. I'm 24, unfortunately, and I love guitar a little bit too much. It's probably unhealthy, actually. Started playing guitar. Uh, I mean, I my sister had a, I had a bass from an ex-girlfriend in high school, and I had a, my sister had a little Squire laying around the house, and I kind of plinked around with them every now and then. But it wasn't until it was September, mid-ish September of my senior year of high school, um, my roommate. My current roommate is my best friend. He was uh, playing a uh, guitar through a little auxiliary chord thing in his car, and it sounded really cool. And I'm like, oh, you know what? Maybe I can do this. And haven't looked back since. That was a little over six years ago. My inspiration for playing is a combination of getting into metal in uh, high school, late eight, you know, eighth grade high school, early. Um, sisters got me into it, and. You know, my first album was Linkin Park and hearing Pantera and stuff. I'm like, these are you know, cool riffs, cool solos and stuff. I want to be able to do this. So um, I play Guitar Hero a lot in high school, and that was another big thing. You know, if, it, if I can do it with a few buttons, why can't I put some fingers on strings and do it too? And, you know, again, my roommate, seeing him do it, I'm like, that's kind of, you know, see somebody else do it. Why not? Well, why can't I? My, my motivation to continue this is uh, I, I'd, I'd like to be a musician for a career as my, you know, it's my ultimate life goal. I'm not looking to be some Guns N' Roses rock star, but, you know, if I can travel the world and eat everybody's food and play music for them and inspire kids to pick up an instrument, then, you know, I think my job's done. I have a rather large guitar collection, well, large-ish. It used to be about 15 and I've whittled it down to about 9 or 10 now. Um, I have a Samick six-string bass. Um, picked it up pretty cheap on Craigslist. It's a nice six-string. I think it might be rare and worth a little bit more than I bought it for, but I don't know for sure. It's kind of hard to find information on it, so I'm not going to claim I have some awesome piece of equipment. But it's a good six-string. It plays well. Um, you know, suits my needs. I'm not a big bass player, so I have it in case I need it. Um, then I have my Dean Vendetta. It's uh, metallic red with a, um, I think it's just stock Dean pickups in it. That was my first brand new guitar. Um, I got that for birthday slash Christmas of that year I started playing. Um, never gonna part with that. It's not the best playing instrument, not the best sounding, but it's the first guitar. You can't, you can't let it go. Um, and then. There's Blue, which I don't currently have with me. I have a friend borrowing that, which is a Les Paul that was given to me by a friend for my birthday because um, he just doesn't really play anymore. And I can't thank him enough. Thank you, Jake. That is hands down my favorite guitar. Love that thing. Um, it's named Blue after the Velociraptor in Jurassic World. Um, and I mean, because it's blue. Um, but my buddy Taylor's borrowing that and I'm borrowing a Schechter guitar from him. It's a Damien Solo 6, I believe. Um, it's got a really cool little pickup in it, Bill Lawrence. Um, it's what Dimebag played before he switched to Seymour Duncan, and it's probably the best sounding pickup I've ever heard. So that's really cool. Um, I've got my Fender Telecaster. It's a made in Mexico model from 2014. Um, picked it up, used at Guitar Center for 260, 280, something like that. I uh, grabbed it and played it a little, and I went and tried some other guitars, and I found myself going back to it played a little more and tried some other guitars and the third time I picked it up I just played one chord and I'm like done this has got to come home with me and got my checkbook out of the car and didn't look back. Um, got a white Epiphone Les Paul. Um, it's a Studio Deluxe limited edition. I got that, I don't know, it was my second brand new guitar. I got that in May of 2012 I believe it was. Um, bought that with my own money. Um, I was pretty proud of that, and uh, it's just a good, great sounding instrument. I'm pretty sure it's a custom shop, an actual custom shop. There's a sticker for it on the back, but don't quote me on that. Um, and I have a Schecter C1 Elite, again, another used instrument from Guitar Center. Um, went in, picked it up, played it, liked it, and dicked around with a couple others, and ended up back with the Schecter and took it home with me. Um, by the way, Blue, that I mentioned before, that's also an Epiphone Les Paul did not say that, but she's she's a glorious piece of machinery. Um, and then I've got my Ibanez XF350 Falchion. And I got that uh, September of 2012, same year I bought the White Les Paul. It's uh, one of those crazy X-shaped looking guitars. It's got active pickups, uh, 
Ibanez floating trim edge three, I think. Don't quote me on that. I don't remember what they call their trim systems. Um, that's a fun little guitar. Do all the crazy Eddie Van Halen dive bombs and such. Um, and then I have a Fender Acoustic with a long model number name that I don't remember because I don't uh, honestly care about it enough. <laughs> it, it's all right. I mean, it's it's good for its price, a little $300 acoustic to mess around with, and that's exactly what I needed. So, it's, I mean, it's a decent sounding guitar. I love playing on, I you know, love playing it. So, um, that's it's my guitar collection currently. The style of music I play is is generally heavy metal for the most part. Um, I, anything rock, I mean, anything with a guitar, I'm gonna play, but I stick pretty close to metal, hard rock, punk is kind of where I, my area is, I guess. I have a pretty big pedal board to just get that basic metal tone. You need a high gain amp that can, you know, switch between clean and distortion channels. Uh, I mean, a noise gate to cut out all that piss and, you know, a wah wah is pretty much your essentials. But uh, I go a little overboard. <laughs> Favorite bands I look up to, the ones that really get me going, are, uh, and I know I said I play mostly metal, but the best band on this planet, and I don't care what you say, is Green Day. There's, there's no arguing that. That is just simple, proven fact. Um, uh, other than that, uh, Slipknot was one of the first metal bands I really got into when I was younger. Um, and they're still a huge inspiration for me. Uh, I saw them live a few years back and that was pretty much a life-changing experience. Um, Breaking Benjamin, who I, I've never really gotten to their music uh, earlier. I mean, I listened to them, but when I saw them a couple years ago live, that was another one of those experiences where it's just kind of like, this is, this is what I need to do and keep pushing forward. Um, Parkway Drive is another band that's it's really high up on my list. They just, they've consistently write good songs. Uh, every, I mean, their rhythm, their melodies, their drums, everything is just tight and consistent. And on top of that, outside of music, they are one of the most humble bands you're ever gonna watch interviews for. Like they're just, you know, five guys going out playing music and having fun and enjoying life and, you know, loving their fans and thanking them for everything they have. And that's what I wanna strive for as a musician. I've had a few projects in the past. Um, I had a little little thing in high school where we learned a song with a couple kids from a, from a different high school in my town. Uh, we learned a Rammstein song for a German foreign language comp music competition thing. I, 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 really, I, just, I got out of school and I gotta go play a Rammstein song in front of people. That's pretty much the reason I did it. Um, Couple other little projects here and there that might not develop, you know, jam with people and it never really developed into something. Um, I did have, I was in a band for roughly a year this past year. Um, started on as bass and then through a series of exhausting lineup changes, I ended up on lead guitar, which I'm not sure how because I'm not a very good lead player actually. Um, wound up on lead guitar and we practiced and practiced and practiced and practiced. Um, we had a show this past October, which was awesome. I mean, aside from the little onstage screw-ups, was awesome. Ad advice to start playing is you, you, are, you are never too old. You are never too young, ever. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. And if people tell you you're just born with it, tell them to fuck off, because that is not true. I didn't start until I was eight, almost 18 and in high school, you know, there's, Eddie Van Halen started playing drums when he was a kid and switched to guitar. He's one of those proficient, crazy, virtuoso masters, and he's been playing since he was eight years old. And then there's bands like August Burn Red, where their lead guitar player didn't start till he was in high school. And he, he's got signature guitars with Ibanez. There's no such thing as starting late. You don't, there's no such thing as just not having that rhythm or not being able to make your fingers work. It just takes practice and dedication and a love for music. That's that's all it takes. There's there's nothing you can't do with an instrument. Yeah, so yeah, I'm I'm Randy Effa. I'm 24 and uh, I love guitar. Rock on.